Yeah, right about that time, I had spoken with my uncle who used to live in the United States. I mean, he still lives there um, as of today, like from the day I'm recording this video. He still lives in the United States, but he was already living there for a few years. I always wanted to move to the United States since he moved there especially, but um, I never asked him. I never had the courage to ask, like, are you kidding me? Like, hey, can I move with you? Like, I never felt. Like, I should say such a thing, you know, like, can I move with you? Like, would be a little ask too much because like my family, as I said, kind of lost everything we had. And this uncle, my grandmother, uh, they used to help us with money for, for like basic needs. You know, we're not the poorest people in the world, um, but we needed, we needed help, you know, and like they did help us a lot. And, oh man, it's oh, so hard, you know, because before we lost everything, I remember that we were already like uh, evangelical Christians and stuff. And I remember, you know, like my dad, oh man, it's so sad, you know, but like my dad had a good job, as I said. And so we would buy our food like for the month. That's how we used to buy the food. And then my dad would buy pretty much just as much. Uh, and it was a lot of money, bro. I don't even know how much, but it was at least one full shopping cart f full of like groceries would at least one i feel like it was two but i'll just say one uh shopping cart full of groceries and would give to one specific family that would help us like spiritually and everything and now we're from that reality you know, of helping people and my mom was a social worker so like we're always helping people you know like if we ever had money that was what we would do as far as i remember like that's what was shown to me at least uh, but yeah after we lost everything like possession wise but that had lost his job and stuff we, we went from giving to needing to yeah to receive help from other people which um i gladly took you know so my my grandmother and my uncle used to help us already so i didn't ever feel like man can i ask you for more you know like move to the united states are you kidding me? you know like so beyond like are you kidding me I, I never felt like adequate you know to ask or something like that but then one time i realized bro if you never ask he would not say hey do you want to come live with me like you have to express that you know like you have to ask him so i was like yo uh i gotta do this man and i was like shaking i guess i don't even know but like i was pretty sure not like hey what's up uncle can i move with you like i was freaking out i guess but yeah so i was like hey uh, uncle do you think by any means like i know this is this can sound like a joke i don't know but oh man can i do you think maybe possibly do you think there's a chance of me living with you in the united states <laughs> like i know sorry i asked though what do you think and then he was like are you serious and i was like oh my god yeah like i mean i'd love to go you know like my uncle's he is really cool you know like and like the image i had of him like he already helped us with money and everything but he also was really cool like man this kid he lives in the united states he was born in brazil like he wrote history man literally like if i'm not mistaken he's the first person from the city where he was born to become an american citizen that's history right there not only that though we had this image you know like he would live in the united states but sometimes he would come mainly for like uh, christmas new years and i would always look up to him you know like he would bring m ms and i remember that was so cool like eating m ms and it was really cool he'd bring like clothes anything man like i was just like oh my god this is the life and i remember one time my friends were talking to each other like oh yeah man i have this uncle i had like everybody like knows everybody who knows everybody that lives in the united states and that could um buy things uh, for cheaper prices they're like oh hook me up man can i buy a watch through your contact and stuff and stuff and i was like sure that's cool but i didn't want to be the guy who has a contact i want to be the contact you know but yeah eventually i did ask he said that he was gonna look into it and see if it was possible and i was like what like are you kidding me? like you're like actually considering this so i was like all right that's uh, awesome so my uncle went and he saw that it was actually possible so he said okay you have to uh, make your passport uh, make your apply for your visa and then we'll see we'll see how it goes and i was like all right but of course we didn't have money for the passport or visa so my grandmother and my uncle paid for that too they paid both for uh, my visa passport and tickets <laughs> like i didn't pay for anything man but yeah so they paid for everything i know i'm running a little from like my testimony like christian wise that's a little bit of my story because it has something to do with that i am not making this videos only to talk about god i'm talking about god i guess it's my main reason but i'll not only like sit here and preach 
you know, like I would share my life and I hope God can use it because I believe that I've been living a life that has been an attempt to follow God's way. So I hope he can use some of the stuff to speak to you guys, but I'll get back to a more Christian topic eventually. So uh yeah so he said i'll look into that then i applied for my visa when they were my dad we applied for it we initially applied for a tourist visa the plan was for me to apply for a tourist visa get to the united states and then change it to a student visa if we were to see that things were to work so i applied for the tourist visa everything went well thank god we were like jumping like so happy like are you serious like unbelievable and yeah so we were really happy about that and then uh, the time came like Dude, I'm actually going to the United States, man. Ah, unbelievable. Seriously. Like, I remember because, like, we used to go to my grandfather's house during New Year's, and he used to live at the beach. I remember going down there. There was, like, a internet cafe, and I went there to see, like, the information about the school. And I, I was like, bro, I couldn't wait, bro. I couldn't believe it. I was just, like, beyond happiness. And I'm, like, clearly getting emotional about this because, seriously, this changed my life like from zero to 103,000 times oh my god so i went there and i was just like louisville high school i'm going to live in louisville what is that wow this sounds awesome <laughs> i was just looking into the stuff and just like really happy you know and then i got my visa just in time and then i flew to the united states <laughs> of america bro first time it was in January 2008. I don't remember the date exactly, but I feel like it was the 10th or something like that because I remember I got there on the last day I had to apply for school. Yeah, there's again a lot of like small stories, like even just the way, man. Just at the airport, like there's a big story there, but I'll, I'll definitely write that on the book. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna get into that. But yeah, I made it. Thank God I made it to the United States, like because there was a, a problem with the flight. I was supposed to get one flight, I, I got the other one, I got lost, bro. It was a crazy story. So yeah, Texas, baby. I loved it. I loved pretty much every second of it. Like, it was one of the best five months and a half of my life. That's how long I spent there. And seriously, God was so, so, so graceful, so good to me. Like, I can never thank Him for this opportunity. It was beautiful. It was beyond my God. It was amazing. Like, I, I took the yellow bus to go to school. Like, US, yellow bus. I know that a lot of people, especially from the United States, might be like, what the heck are you talking about but if you're not from the united states and you had that opportunity you probably know what i'm talking about and if you're not from the united states and you didn't have that opportunity i think you can grasp kind of like what what it is you know like the experience of being able to do that so yeah i oh my god those were my classes like i had to take mathematics which i love i had english as a second language which i loved 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 double time and i had like a class that would be different sometimes like sometimes it would be science sometimes it would be something else it was like a i don't know i don't even know the name of it and I, I never really got it but yeah it would have science sometimes whatever and i would have the best class ever i used to have the best class ever soccer baby like are you kidding me we had a like, gym at the school i was just amazed one time we didn't play good enough and we had to do like drills like like just work out pretty much i was like uh this is the punishment bro punish me every day i'm down for this like this is love right here i love it so i i did like all the exercises that we were supposed to do and the teacher was like chug what are you doing why are you stopping i was like bro i'm done I mean, of course he didn't say bro and my english was not that good i was like i finished probably said this and it's like there's no way you finish and people were like yeah he actually did and he was laughing the whole time i don't know if i was laughing the whole time they probably didn't say that maybe i don't know you know like in brazil like the infrastructure is half as good and like my god seriously so i was just happy like even if i ha had to do punishment stuff one of the best things or if i, I think uh, i guess i could say the best thing out of this trip is that my uncle's friends family and friends uh were christians and were about my age so they were pretty much my only friends from brazil there and they would go to church all the time and they'd be like okay do you want to come and i was like yeah of course they were really cool people we used to play soccer together bro ah that was beautiful seriously that was awesome so if you guys want to know more come again next time i'll continue to tell my story i hope you guys have a great life i wish you guys the best thank you for your time and yeah god bless you see you guys later don't forget to like and subscribe my channel let's do it man ah i'm hungry baby let's go god bless you guys see you later oh.
fasto Com a vaca e dá-las para ser I can't go back, but I miss it